Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome to the first video of the 3D Software Rendering Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to be creating a window that we can actually render into using our software renderer. But before we do that, there's one thing I'd like to bring up. As I mentioned in the FAQ video, this series is not intended for people who've never written a program before. So, I have a little bit of an entrance exam set up. And that is, go into your favorite Java IDE, whether it be Eclipse, NetBeans, IntelliJ, what have you, and set up a project with a Hello World application, like this. And that's sort of my entrance exam. I've already done the basic setup and created a Hello World thing off-screen. So there, if you can do that and get a working Hello World program like this, then you should be good to go to start following along. So now that that's out of the way, let's create our display. Now, I already created a file and this basic set of code off-screen just to save a little bit of video time. So how do we create a display? Well, in Java, if you want to generate an image or render or do anything like that, usually you do it in a canvas. So our display is going to extend canvas, and that is going to require us to import java.aut.canvas. So now we got a canvas. That's great. We can render into that and such, but we still need some way to display this canvas. So I'm going to have a private final JFrame that I'm going to call mframe. And this is going to be the actual window that we use to, well, display the canvas. And that's going to require us to import javax.swing.jframe. And that should be all we need to at least get started. So I'm going to create public display. It's going to be the constructor. It's going to take in an int width and an int height and also a string for the title that'll display in the Windows title bar. Now, how do we take our canvas here and set it to this width and height? And this has a little bit of an interesting way of being done. What we need is we need a dimension object. I'm just going to call it size. That'll be a new dimension. I'll take in width and height. And there we go. That'll require us to import java.aut.dimension to do so, but there. And once we have that, we can say set preferred size, which is a method that we inherit from Canvas, to the size. And that'll set the canvas's size to this size. However, I don't want the canvas to be sort of, well, you know, resized. I want this to be it's set to this size, and I want it to stay at this size. So I'm also going to set the minimum size to size, and I'm going to set the maximum size to size. And technically, this shouldn't be necessary because we're not, we're going to disable resizing on the window anyways. But this way, we don't accidentally resize it from within the code or something like that. And great, that should be all we need to do with the canvas. All we have to do now is create the JFrame and, well, display it. So mframe is going to be a new JFrame. And I'm going to say mframe.add this. That will add the display to the frame. So now the canvas is in the JFrame. And I'm also going to say mframe.pack. And this will resize the JFrame so that it displays the entire canvas, which is what we want. So, yeah. And there's a few more things we're going to want to do here. Like I said, I'm going to set resizable to false, so we cannot resize it. I'm going to set default close operation to jframe dot I believe it's exit underscore on close like that so this way when we click the X button we actually it doesn't by default close so we have to set that to close like that and I probably have forgotten a few things there's a lot of options jframes have but I think this should be enough to just get us started so I'll set visible to true here. And actually, I just thought, thought of something I forgot. I'm going to say mframe.setLocation 
relative to null. And what this will do is this will set the frame in the exact center of the screen. So there. And that I'm going to build just to make sure I don't have any errors. And we don't. Good. So now I'm going to go to main. I'm going to... I can comment that out now. I'm going to create a display called display. It will be a new display. That then it'll be 800 by 600. And I'll call it software rendering. You can call it whatever you want. Oh, and I, which reminds me of something else I forgot. We need to actually set the title. Otherwise the title variable doesn't do anything. So mframe.setTitle to title. And there, that should be all the setup we need to at least get something displayed. As you see, well, we have a window, we have a blank image that we can draw into, it has our title, it's at 800 by 600, I think it's safe to say our code is, oh, and it closes when we click the X button, so I think it's safe to say our code is working. And that's just about everything I wanted to cover in this video. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you in the next video, where we'll be creating a bitmap class that we can use to load and store images, we can render into it, and of course, we can display those images in our canvas here. So thank you, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you in the next video.